welcome back to another video now today guys this is gonna be another let's play welcome to Blade Runner enhanced edition now I never actually played uh, some of the Blade Runner games because this is very interesting so this is gonna be my first ever Blade Runner game I'm hoping to get myself into this <laughs> but if you guys do want to see more make sure to leave a like also hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel most importantly uh, Tell me in the comments if you guys actually want me to play this more because I'm interested in what I'm actually going to get myself into. So, let's start. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alright. So, options. Let's go to game options real quick. Everything is up. Some titles on. Uh, master volumes at 50. Um, I'm going to turn off the music for this one. I'm going to lower it down. Because, uh want to avoid copyrights if you know what I mean so uh, let's have that input options 3.5 god damn there's a sensitivity setting on here and smoothing to 50% uh, y'all gonna have to tell me what I'm gonna have to put in the comment section for that cuz oh boy I don't know what I'm getting myself into guys I'm not gonna hold you I don't know what I'm getting myself into difficulty on eh, normal I'm interested to see what I'm getting myself into. So this is kind of interesting. Hmm. For an enhanced version, it doesn't seem that bad, really. Early in the 21st century, uh, the Terrell Corporation advanced robots evolution into the nexus phase of being virtual reality identical to a human, known as a replicant. Uh, the Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility and at least equal in intelligence to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-worlds as slave labor and hideous exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody... Okay, this is going to be really hard to actually read. <laughs> God damn it! I told y'all it was going to be really hard to fucking read. Especially knowing for a fact that I have to like keep up with everything upon me. I don't think I was gonna pause it either. And they would have actually got me through. Los Angeles, November 2019. Huh, so this is more like a retro game. Hmm. Well, they did say it was a hand to hand, so yeah, I kind of figured. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Wow. I am impressed with this so far. I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. Yeah. Haven't you forgotten something? One. Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're close. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're close. We're not here to buy, little man. You've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That comes with money. And what else might be? Some virtue. Yes, not my animals, please. I beg you. But what honor, little man, at what price? Honor. Oh my god, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, very bright. Or stuff the night. I 
was just finishing up my twelve out on patrol when i got the call welcome relief considering that the most action i'd seen all night was the schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guza was one of the old time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other plate runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid blitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rev Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Lemon tonight's land. I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scusa got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin shots got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed to his face. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little awful paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Oh, it's a clicking game. <laughs> I figured it would be. Uh, let's walk our way in. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. That is a good point. Let's check on with this man once. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Oh, boy. <sighs> Let's see what we're getting ourselves into here. All my animals. There has to be something in here. Something I'm not seeing. It's very odd how certain things don't really add up at this point. You got uh, any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyens worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that.
I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Nice. So now we got all, I think we got some of the evidence we have here. I think we can head back. Actually, there was something over here I needed to click. What's this? All my animals. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Huh. Interesting. Let's head out real quick. Maybe we can speak to some of the officers out here. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Seems weird, doesn't it? Let's talk to them real quick. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Interesting. Interesting. Hopefully that's all the evidence we've got, but I'm gonna go back inside and see if there's any other evidence that might actually work around here. Because we can't work with just more than one. There has to be something else that we're missing here. Let's uh, look around real quick. If we can, let's... Or no. Nope, nope. No clicking or anything. precious one. She was my baby. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Animal murder. Uh, we can go. Let's switch to clues. Okay. Uh, male, three, five. Lucy, and then. So there's three suspects here. Well, that's good to know. Um, officer statement limping footprints, grateful footprints, or grateful footprints, shell casings. I think I have some of the I think I already had like from the officer statement and then limping footprints I think I didn't check those yet. I found the casings um, And I think I had the video and I think I already interviewed him So all I need to do is probably find the footprints right now Maybe there's some places to look for the footprints. Let's take a look Maybe there are certain She was my baby Okay, let's let's okay, let's check around here. I'm ruined, totally ruined. Oh my God, my guy, would you ever shut up? Seriously. Some things can't be said, though. So. All my animals. Yeah, we're gonna have to hurry this up then. Let's keep it moving. I think that's all we can really find. I mean, if I can literally figure out a way to find I'm the ruined. footprints, totally ruined. it would be more than likely that they would be in the back instead of the front. This is exactly why I said like from earlier that they wouldn't be I'm around here any further. One. She was my baby. I guess we can interview him more, I guess. Because we need to see if there's any footprints around. Uh, can you think uh, of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? That is true. It wouldn't make sense for replicants to all of a sudden... Well, actually, no. Now I think about it. It did mention that replicants weren't exactly human. <laughs> so, there is my a slight chance they would do this. One. She was my baby. Let's see if we can talk to him about Lucy. Maybe we can get something out of him about Lucy. You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers? Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Colvig an exquisite Perseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? He's got a point. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. 
She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Up here. That's why we could should have kept asking questions. Apparently it's over here. Monkeys. Huh, seems rough. Interesting. A candy bar. Yuck. <laughs> How we leaves in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Candy bars. Wow, isn't that cute? Isn't that something? Anything else around here? Not much I can see. Alright. So How we leaves in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. have to at least confirm that he's a replicant. Officer statement completely. Limping footprints. Candy, of course. Nice subject. Uh, yeah, I just went there. Uh, what's hmm. this? A toy dog. That's something interesting. Especially on my end. Wow, isn't that cute? Oh, that's true. Sorry, I'm just clicking everything else around me right now. I'm not entirely sure if I'm clicking. Am I supposed to be clicking around it or over it? But, uh. Toy dog. Interesting. It wouldn't make sense for them to literally all of a sudden just leave. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. That is something. Um, so a second is second. Sections. <laughs> Brain. All right, interview B. Limping footprints. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Interesting. <clears throat> two big men. The majority of them would have to mean something, because one thing for sure, they either, because they would have had to leave outside the doors, one, two, they would have actually had to at least leave their ways out, so what they would have to do is go through the back door or go through over here, but as you can probably tell, there's no, not even a single back door over here, unless we can literally open this curtain, and judging by the, like, the development of almost the majority of this there's no way in hell we could have figured out the fact that there was like at least five of them I'm ruined totally ruined but I doubt it was five because one thing for sure could have been two to do such horror like this I, I'm ruined totally ruined it had to be two to three it had to be two to three I may be wrong, but it may have been two to three. I, I might be, I may be a little bit wrong there, but it may have been two to three. Let's uh, head back and do some investigating there because we need to do some checking. Let's head back. I need to see what we're dealing with. Uh. McCoy's apartment. Let's head to the police station real quick. Because I want to do some uh, digging on that uh, bullet casing. Maybe it can give us a few uh, gestures on what the gun was specifically. Because he said he started executing them. There's no way he used a knife and a gun. So... Unless he did use both. One of them was using the knife, the other one was using the gun. I think I may have answered my damn self. I don't fucking know. Um, Ground floor. 
Let's go to the first floor. All right. Let's get out of here real quick. Let me see what we're getting ourselves into here. All right, so judging by the ground floor, there's not much to like foresee here to be specific. More or less. Um, I guess we can go back there, I guess. I guess it wasn't supposed to do that, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Huh. The first thing I will definitely say to y'all guys is that, like, I've seen the movies. Don't get me wrong. But there was a lot of shit that caught me off guard that I barely couldn't even understand for the life of me. So I'll definitely say that there's a lot to say here. Hmm, I don't think he's a, he's a suspect that's here right now. So we might have to go back. We'll go back to him later, but we need to hit the, uh, we need to hit the rooftop real quick. Reason being is that I feel like we're supposed to be heading directly towards the... Because there's no way in hell we would have head out there and all of a sudden there's just nothing that we were supposed to be checking over there. I must have missed something in that specific spot. Hold on. Sounds awfully barren. So it kind of opened another part of the map that we can actually see. So let's head to Chinatown. I guess some things need to be checked, some things need to be talked, I guess. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Oh. I don't know. That's something. I guess we need to start McCoy, talking. LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out your back. Hmm. Let's talk to him. Maybe he can get some ideas. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business driving, night always beautiful. Hundred percent. Maybe we can get. Maybe we can get some talking out of these dudes. Uh. How long has that chef worked for you? Zuban? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. Interesting. Okay. This is from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chops that come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. Okay. Interesting. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. Your prince, Howie. Let's get. Let's get to the side, shall we? All right. Let's go to our man's over here. Let's talk to talk to him. How he says you're a master chef. Do not come back here, air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. Okay. Stick Maybe around. I might want to talk to you later. All right. He's definitely not talking. Hmm. One on one. Interesting. Maybe it opens a new place across the map, but even then, I feel like we're missing something. Something just doesn't add up. Non-murders, people crime, some of them. And then switch regions. Resurrection video, toy dog. Well, that's most of the clues we have gotten so far. And then Howie Lee's interview literally mentions I forgot what mentions before, but I need to take a look at that. How long has that chef worked for you? Zulban? Just month. 
Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. So he's been working here for at least about a month. Hmm. Go back. We're gonna have to use that particular part about. We're gonna have to use that part about literally the footprints because we have to go back here. The first limping footprints. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Hmm. That chef might be on our suspect list. I'm gonna keep that in mind.